random variables and distribution chapter. So, in this chapter actually one very short answer type question and one long answer type question will appear total 9 marks. So, very very easy chapter and very very easy to score out of 75 9 marks easily we can score from this chapter. So, in random variables actually so very simple and whereas, distributions we have binomial distribution and Poisson distribution. So, let us discuss on the problems on this random variables and distributions. So, first problem that is very short answer type questions V S A Q type questions that is 1 into 2, 2 marks. Because definitely you have to attempt very short answer questions because there is no choice in very short answer type. Whereas, short answer type you have plenty of choice even long answer type you have plenty of choice, but whereas very short answer questions you do not have any choice for even board examination. So, better you have to practice more very short answer type questions from your textual questions or some other references you have to solve it to get out of 75, 75. But whereas, for long answers and short answers, so most important questions may appear, but only number will change. So, for that sake actually you have to do more practice problems by changing the numbers also. So, now the first question, the mean, the mean and variance, variance of a binomial, binomial distribution distribution are 4 and 3 respectively. Respectively. Find the distribution, find the distribution and find and find p of x greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Whereas, in the binomial distribution the mean and variance are given mean is equal to 4, variance is equal to 3. The first we have to find out binomial distribution, after that we have to find out the probability getting probability of getting at least 1 that means p of x greater than or equal to 1 this is called probability of getting at least 1, at least 1 means 1 minus probability of getting nothing. So, that means 1 minus p of x is equal to 0 that easily we can calculate. In order to find out this one actually we require parameters. What are the parameters of binomial distribution? n and p. So, but how to find out q? q is nothing but 1 minus p. That is why first of all we have to find out the parameters using given mean and variance. Okay, let us go. So, now given mean, mean means n p, n p is equal to 4 say equation 1 this is. Variance, variance is n p q. So, that is equal to 3 equation 2. Now, apply 2 divided by 1. 2 divided by 1. So, we get n p q by n p is equal to 3 by 4. n p n p gets cancelled. We have q is equal to 3 by 4. 
I already told you q is not the parameter, our parameter is p. So that means first let us find out the p value. So we know that, we know that p plus q is equal to 1, p stands for probability of success, q stands for probability of failure, probability of success plus probability of failure always 1. So, p is equal to 1 minus q. So, 1 minus 3 by 4. So, simple LCM for this is 1 by 4. Now, we know p, but what is about other, other parameter n we have to find out. So, from 1, from 1 substituting p value n by 4 is equal to 4 n is equal to 16. Now, we know the parameters n and p, now we have to find out the binomial distribution. So, what is binomial distribution? Binomial distribution, binomial distribution, distribution is equal to q plus p all to the power of n. q stands for 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 all to the power of 16. This is the binomial distribution. Now, one more question is there. What is that? P of x greater than or equal to 1. I already told you P of x greater than or equal to 1 means you see very lengthy getting 1, getting 2, getting 3 up to getting 16. Can you find out? No. So, that means indirect manner you have to do it. That is probability of getting at least 1. That means 1 minus P of x is equal to 0. So, we have one formula P of x is equal to r is given by n c r q to the power of n minus r p to the power of r. This is the formula. So, now this P of x greater than or equal to 1 equal to 1 minus n stands for 16, 16 c naught, q stands for 3 by 4, whole to the power of 16 and p stands for 1 by 4 power 0. So, this is equal to 1 minus 16 c naught is 1, this is 3 by 4 whole to the power of 16. It is a very bigger number, leave it, no problem. This is the answer.